Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. Solving quadratics by factoring. There is one example I'd like to show you is x squared minus x minus 12 equals 0. Factoring is very important and skill. Let's do this question. Because when we do factoring, we need looking for two numbers. These two numbers multiplied together equals negative 12 and pressed together equals negative x. So looking for these two numbers, we need to factor out negative 12. First of all, forget the negative. That's a two number multiplied together equal 12. We have one times 12 and two times six, right? Three times four. So 12 can be factored out one times 12, two times six, three times four. And also we look at the middle number is negative x, which is negative 1 here. The coefficient of x is negative 1. That means these two numbers plus together is negative 1. That means these two numbers are very close, right? So that's why you see, obviously, it's not 1 and 12. Because 1 and 12 is a big difference. Whatever the negative 12 plus 1, we will get the negative 11 and not negative 1. So obviously this number. Because these two, only one difference. And we say negative means the big number has to be negative. So we need negative 4 multiply 3. So negative 4 multiply 3 got the negative 12. Negative 4 plus 3 got the negative 1. As if we find this number. Now we can write this equation into x squared. We separate this one into, I'd like to write the negative first, minus 4x plus 3x minus 12 equals 0, right? Because x is, negative x is two terms negative 4x plus 3x. These two add together equal negative x. These two multiply together equal negative 12. And we have four terms when grouping it, right? Put the first two, make group, make this one group, and make this group. And we have x squared minus 4x plus 3x minus 12 equals 0. And the x squared minus 4x, we can pull common factor x and result as x minus 4. The second bracket, we pull 3 as common factor. We have x minus 4 as well. Then we can see x minus 4 is the common factor. So we need to pull common factor out. We pull x minus 4 as common factor. Leave at x plus 3 equals 0. This is a factor. After factoring, then you can see x minus 3 multiply x plus 3 equals 0. This binomial, if this binomial equals 0, let's say if x minus 4 equals 0, then x equals 4, that means when x equals 4, plug into this form, 4 minus 4 equals 0, 0 multiply x plus 3, even 4 plus 3 equals 7, 0 multiply 7 equals 0. That's make true, right? This is, so this is the first solution, x1 equals 4. 
the other solution option is x plus 3 if x plus 3 equals 0 then x equal x2 equals negative 3 that means if x equal negative 3 also satisfy this statement because negative 3 plus 3 equals 0 the negative 3 minus 4 equals negative 7 negative 7 multiplied 0 equals 0 so that's why x1 equals 4 or x2 equals negative 3 both are the solution of this quadratic equation using factory second example is 3x squared minus 24x plus 21 equals 0. Obviously, 3, 24, and the 21, they have common factor with 3. We can pull 3 as common fact, or you can say, you, because this equation equals 0, you can divide any number for both sides except, except divided by 0. So you can divide the 3, divide the 3, divide the 3, divide the 3 for both sides of the equation. The equation is still same, doesn't change. So this one cancel with x squared. This got 24 divided 3, you got 8x. This got the 7 equals 0. This is very important skill. First, when you solving equation or do factoring, always remember look for if there is common fact. Common fact, you need divide it or you pull out as common fact. Now, this equation, because solving equation, we can do divide the three for both sides, simplify. Then we can look at this one. This is seven. Seven, only one factor, one times seven only one time seven, only one choice, right? So that means, but this is positive, positive seven, positive one, multiply positive seven, got the positive seven, but they add together equal positive eight. We need the negative eight, that's why we have another choice, negative seven, multiply negative, negative one, multiply negative seven, still equal positive seven, but they add together equal negative eight. That's why we need to use this so we have x squared minus x minus 7x, which is these two. Separate negative 8x into negative x minus 7x, got negative x. Plus 7 equals 0. Then we're still grouping. But this grouping, we need to be careful. Let's see. You group the first two, we have x squared minus x because this is negative. So if you group these two, put the bracket 7x, you have to change the sign to its opposite. The reason is you put negative in front, when you break down the bracket, negative what when negative become positive if you still keep positive the negative multiply positive become negative right that's why you need to be careful when you grouping these two terms if in front with negative you need to change the sign to negative so that when you expand it minus this is 7 is positive, so minus 7x, and this is uh, plus 7. That's you got the right answer. Okay, then we pull common factor for first two terms, which is x. We have x minus 1 minus 7 as common fact. x minus 1 equals 0. Then x minus 1, x minus 1 still common. So we can pull common factor x minus 1 and the first term with x, the second term with 7 equals 0. Once we factor it out, so we can write 
one one makes zero for each step. So x minus one equals zero. We solve I get x equal one. Move this one to the other side. Or x minus seven equals zero. We got x equals seven. So this is x one, this is x two. These two are solutions. This is using factoring to solving quadratic equations. This is presented by wise guys. Thank you.